Hope everyone's doing amazing. My name is EQ and welcome to Stop. Welcome back everyone. It's been a long time. I know, as you can see, I have a whole new backdrop behind me. Decided to pack my stuff up, move across country with the lady and live on a farm for a little bit to disconnect from everything. I'm a city boy born and raised from Miami. So I lived in Denver as well. And I was ready to get out and focus on my trading, cut my expenses, do this and that, and give my dogs plenty of room to run around and have fun. If you hear a lot of noises in the background, just know that it's them walking around and I'm sorry. They got lots of paws and wood floors, so that's fun. Before we get started, I wanted to let you guys know that we did open our VIP Discord group through Patreon. If you wanted to sign up for that, here's the link. Right now, it's only $5 a person per month. We only have 20 spots left at $5. Once those 20 spots are filled, the next group is going to be at $10 a month. And that's 50 people. So every 50 people that sign up for the VIP Discord group, the price is going to go up $5 a month. So it's like a stock. If you want to buy it early and you think there's value and you want to hold on to that, you want to do that now because eventually you're going to be paying or could potentially be paying four times as much per month than you would be right now if you were to sign up. So take a look at that link. Check it out. Join our public discord. I'm leaving it open for free for the next week so you guys can try it out. See what we're talking about, how it feels. Get a taste of our community. See if you want to join our VIP group. Five dollars hopefully is something that you will be easily making even on a daily basis on some of these coins Some of our members have made upwards of sixty five thousand dollars in the last four months. So I Think it'll be worth it on this episode. We're gonna be covering BitTorrent the hot topic and Of course, we're gonna be throwing price predictions and all of that stuff getting deep into the white paper and, and essentially everything about BitTorrent if you could subscribe to the channel, throw a like on this video, do anything like that, that'd be greatly appreciated. And let's get rolling. All right, let's get into it. And sorry if you guys hear a bunch of click clacking in the back. We got three dogs in the new house and we got wood floors. So it might get a little loud, but it's cool. We're going to work through all this. So we're going to go with the hot topic of the month right off the bat. Sorry guys for the long delay. I had to move cross country and reset up my office and do this and that. It took a pretty good amount of time. It was four days worth of driving, almost a 30 hour trip, but we here. So let's start off with a heater right off the bat, BitTorrent. We're gonna glance back at this whole coin. Let me refresh this, make sure it's still 20. Oh, okay, so we dropped a little bit to 24 now, but this is a hot coin right now. You can see BitTorrent ranked number 24. Got a market cap of 5.8 billion. It has a total supply of 990 billion and a circulating supply of 659.9 billion. And you can see it's currently down the other day. It did go up to one cent. Right now it dropped down a little bit back to under a cent and right off the bat you can see tron on the contracts this is one of the reasons why BitTorrent's blowing up but we're going to dive into it deeper so BitTorrent is a popular peer-to-peer -peer file sharing and torrent platform which has become increasingly decentralized in recent years it was originally released in july of 2001 i remember using it back in the day to rip all sorts of crazy stuff BitTorrent was purchased by blockchain platform tron in july 2018 so this is one of the older coins that did survive that 2017 crash. But the fact that they're making improvements and adding new things in the future to jump into this bull market is what made it very interesting and what got it back on track. So since its acquisition, BitTorrent has added various new tools with a dedicated native cryptocurrency token, BTT, that was released in February 2019. BTT was launched on Tron's own blockchain using the TRC-10 standard. I love using the TRC coin to be honest. Like when I send myself USDT or if anyone is sending me USDT or whatever the situation is, I usually tell them to take it off of the ERC and put it on a TRC because the gas fees are a lot lower and it's faster. A lot of times I've gotten that money within, you know, two, three minutes 
versus I've had to wait 30 minutes or so on the Ethereum chain before. So according to its official literature, BitTorrent is currently the largest decentralized peer-to-peer -peer communications protocol in the world. So the original founder of BitTorrent is Bram Cohen, a developer and entrepreneur who himself has become well known in the cryptocurrency arena. He explained that he designed BitTorrent to assert the dated entertainment industry, which has made obtaining material slow and expensive. The platform, since its creation, has seen a ton of legal battles with Cohen maintaining that it doesn't break any copyright laws and allowing users to share files such as music and movies among themselves. It was pretty important back then to make sure that they were covering their asses because that was around the time of LimeWire, Kazaa, all of that crazy stuff that was coming out. So the fact that they were able to protect themselves and continue their blockchain platform is great. It's a lot of positive news for BTET. And then in 2018, Tron completed its acquisition of BitTorrent, bringing BitTorrent under the control of Justin Sun, who is a beast. And Sun is notorious for his plugging of both Tron as a cryptocurrency and its blockchain technology, bidding $4.5 million at a charity auction to have lunch with Warren Buffett and discuss cryptocurrency with him. So yeah, if anyone is in Tron, you know that they have a hype train like ADA. They're just a little bit younger per se. Tron is also behind the addition of cryptocurrency to BitTorrent as the BTT token was released on Tron's blockchain. The move formed part of Tron's efforts to add further decentralized features to the platform. So BitTorrent was already making waves to disrupt the, the legacy entertainment industry. And since its acquisition under Tron, BitTorrent has expanded its user appeal to those interested in decentralized solutions and cryptocurrency, as well as its own user base. Amongst the added features are BitTorrent Speed, which uses the BTT token as part of its operations. BitTorrent has also branched out into paid services, offering several premium versions of its platform, which include VPN capabilities and ad-free browsing. What really caught my attention, which I think it was in January this came out, or February, BTT was adopted by Blizzard, Dota 2, Facebook, Netflix, Twitter, Google, Lionsgate, DLive, and many others, including Cardano and ADA. When I heard all of that news, that was when I knew this coin was going to be blowing up. If you've been in our server and looking around our Discord group, you've seen a couple of people have been making massive gains, almost 1,700% since January or February. So BTT has been treating us well. So we can definitely go over some of these use cases too. I think this is important to look at and so you can see what's going on with BTT and why it's so valuable as a coin that is infinite because a lot of people are worried about investing in infinite coins because it's not finite like a Bitcoin where it runs out and it's like a gold commodity. This can just be continued to be made and burnt and made and burnt. So BitTorrent Speed is available as a feature of BitTorrent and uTorrent Web as well as uTorrent Classic. With BitTorrent Speed enabled, downloaders will have the option of providing tokens to uploaders in exchange for faster download speeds. So basically you can cut the line and get faster speeds if you have BTT tokens sitting around and you're willing to spend them. So if you wanted to set that up and enjoy faster download speeds, you would enable your wallet, which is a BTT wallet or a uTorrent web or a classic. It'll be in BTT token balance. When you're downloading torrents, the BitTorrent speed automatically bids BTT to other users for faster speeds. Just use the torrent program like normal. There's nothing else you need to do. When a torrent file finishes down, this is the big part right here, is that you can earn BTT by using their platform and you're essentially staking by using the program, which is huge. When a torrent file finishes downloading, you can automatically earn BTT by seeding. Seeding means that other users can download that file from you. So when those users actually do download those files, you're getting paid out in BitTorrent. The integrated wallet allows for secure storage of your BTT, which you can send to other wallets. I'm definitely going to be checking this out in the near future because I know Bit BitTorrent isn't going anywhere. So you can see BitTorrent Web is going to be your WebTorrent client that makes it easy to play files while they download. BitTorrent Classic is a very tiny desktop client with advanced features for expert users. And then you have the uTorrent Web, which is a web torrent client that enables fast downloads of any type of file going into coming soon is their file system btfs is a protocol and network implementation that provides a peer-to-peer -peer mechanism for storing and sharing digital content in a decentralized filing system yeah it sounds complicated but let's dig a little deeper on this traditional file storage systems have many disadvantages including centralization or control by a single entity the ability for governments to censor higher costs, and low fault tolerance. BTFS is a decentralized file storage system supported by millions of BitTorrent user nodes. 
by running on the blockchain, which has a delegated holistic method of processing blockchain transactions, BTFS addresses these limitations. BTFS rep represents the first decentralized storage system that can be used by D apps developers. And then soon enough, BTT is going to be introduced into to the BTFS ecosystem, and it's going to incentivize a fair and abundant file system. So that's going to be another huge push up for BTT. Going into some of the other apps and stuff that BTT is on, like DLive, which is the streaming community. So DLive, and they're going to be paying subscribers and users with BTT coming into the near future. So if you're getting millions of views, they're going to pay you out in BTT instead of dollar. And this is a big part that I wanted to come down to on purpose. You can see there's a massive list of exchanges and wallets that are already supporting BTT. All the big companies are on it. And now you have the Facebooks and everything like that jumping on board. So, so this is where you can see that the protocol is used by Netflix, Facebook, Google, Twitter, Lionsgate, and DLive. You can see they have 200 million wallets, over 2 billion users, and over 100 million MAU. The world's biggest distributed network powered by BTT. You can see all these other people that are talking about it. You had Vitalik Buterin from Ethereum calling it a metagame success. Blizzard Entertainment came out saying that they're expecting BitTorrent to revolutionize the entire gaming industry online. You have Charles Hoskinson from ADA and Cardano talking about scalability and if that there are any examples of scalable protocols, it's called BitTorrent. You have Tom Cook from Facebook Systems saying that BitTorrent is a super duper fast program that allows them to alleviate a lot of scaling concerns they've had in the past. So BitTorrent is not going to be going anywhere anytime soon. This thing is a monster. We'll let some more of these names roll through when I move this. But all in all, we're only seeing the beginning of BitTorrent, in my honest opinion. As someone that's making videos and things like that, I'm definitely going to be looking into this and seeing if I can throw some of my stuff on BitTorrent, so I'll be letting you guys know. Then I'm going to dig into the white paper just a little bit. Leave this on here so you can have some fun looking at this. If you want to see the white paper, it is pretty standard and basic, but you can see Tron right at the top as the world's largest decentralized ecosystem. Huge, huge, huge. But through the white paper of BitTorrent, it essentially facilitates the exchange of files between untrusted parties. Its primary limitation is that collaborations between parties using the protocol cannot persist over time, inhibiting the exchange. Blockchain technologies allow for collaborations between untrusted parties to persist over much longer periods of time. BitTorrent has the ecosystem and expertise necessary to integrate blockchain technologies into the BitTorrent protocol. Doing so would eliminate the protocol's existing flaw as well as open up a new borderless economy and exchanging value for computing resources on a global scale. To accomplish this, Tron Foundation and BitTorrent Foundation are introducing a new cryptographic token called BTT along with an extended version of the BitTorrent protocol. Together, the token and extended protocol will create a token-based economy for networking, bandwidth, and storage usage. The initial entry point is to introduce token-based optimizations to the existing BitTorrent protocol. That's gonna be providing a way for value of the shared bandwidth to be captured by network participants. The long-term vision is to broaden the usage of the BitTorrent protocol far beyond current use case by providing a distributed infrastructure platform to a third-party app developers creating the foundation for the decentralized web. So this might be Internet 3.0 that everyone's been talking about, which would be insane if you're a part of, and you know that's going to blow up, and at that point, this thing can have and hold a massive market cap, which is what we're going to be getting into a little bit later. So to find a peer that has a file or portion thereof, peers either announced to a tracker server that keeps track of which peers have which files available or find them via the DHT, a distributed database of peers. Through this process, all peers are naturally segmented into swarms of users, with every user in each swarm having a common interest in exchanging pieces of a specific file. Before an exchange begins, files are cut into pieces, aka sharding. Clients advertise which pieces of a file their user has available, and those pieces are uploaded by users who have them and downloaded by users who need them. Cryptographic hashes or info hashes of the pieces are used to verify that the pieces being sharded are the pieces that were requested. The more pieces a peer receives from another peer in exchange for the pieces sent, the more productive a peer-to-peer -peer interaction is considered to be. 
The most productive piece exchanges are rewarded with further pieces and the clients with the least productive exchanges are deprecated, disconnected, or banned. Once a user has completed a download, they may allow their client to continue to upload pieces despite no longer needing any download in return. This is called seeding. The default for most clients is to seed to other downloaders, but this activity, however, is entirely altruistic. There is no economic penalty for users closing their BitTorrent client once a download has finished. So as we get deeper into Internet 3.0 and all these big companies are throwing down on BitTorrent, we're going to get to the fun stuff. We're going to start with some charts. So you can see we now had a nice fat impulse move on the daily chart going from essentially 0 0.001 all the way to almost almost. 5.015 which is insane had a nice little consolidation here which we can talk about later but the point i want to make is when you see these massive wicks on the top especially on a daily chart this is usually a sign that you might see some sort of retracement coming soon saw this peaked out on the rsi on the sto rsi was overbought and on the oscillator it went super high this forced a little downtrend brought price all the way back down to 0 0.007 under one cent. Now we're starting to see another little push. The big thing that I'm seeing right now is that we are getting support on the 70 RSI and we are getting into the oversold area on the Sto RSI and the oscillator has already turned down into the bearish side. And so all of this is looking ready to start turning back up, which is a great sign. Now, as a long term, mind you, these plays right here take a long time to unfold. You can see from where I'm going to put this, we'll call it from here to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven days, eight days, essentially. If I wanted to throw a fib from the start of the move, say from here up to here. From a daily standard, we hit the perfect 6180 golden ratio on our retracement and started making our way back up. From this style of impulse move, the next prices we can see go all the way up to two cents from where we are. So anyone that's throwing a nice margin trade, let's say you could be making a lot of money right now. If you play this the right way, make sure you're buying it at the right times. Moving on to the four hour chart, we can see we had a little retracement. We're still playing within this perfect golden ratio number. Even if I wanted to slide this up, let's say to this impulse move, you can see we found our first initial support. Pull this out a little bit. If I would have slid that up because the four hour chart, you can see that there was a little hold here. We had a little consolidation per se. So a lot of people will say, hey, push it to the impulse move, which started here and climbed. You can see on this chart, we had a nice retracement, land at the 7860, which is common for large impulse moves. And at the same time, we hit the 50 day EMA and it's holding support, which is great. All in all, I am looking kind of bullish on this because you had a bounce on the RSI plus and the Stowe RSI has pulled down from the overbought area. And I like to make my moves on anything that comes down and pulls back up around the 50. That's where I usually see a lot of big impulse moves. You can see here it did start. It started essentially at the bottom of this line and created a nice impulse move. We're also gonna to wanna to look at this since we're looking at that. We want to make sure that we're breaking this double top right here because this is a potential sign of a retracement incoming but if we can break this and hold support that will give btt a lot of room to grow this is a crypto cap excluding bitcoin but you can see we're heading into the overbought area right now so it could be a possible retracement it is early in this candle's life, but we are seeing a nice bottom wick. I want to see this break over. Essentially, I want to see price get over this point right here, breaking all the wicks on top. 
when I see that, then I'm probably going to be putting more. But for the time being, I'm waiting to see what market cap does because that's going to dictate essentially what BitTorrent's going to be doing. So we're just going to take a quick look at this hourly just to see what can happen. You see there is plenty of space on the Sto RSI that this can impulse over in an hour and hopefully sit on top. And that will barely affect this four hour. It'll still be within this range. So right now we're kind of hoping to see a nice impulse move in the next couple hours. Now based off of this move, you can see price can go just a little bit under $2, which is going to be a major psychological resistance point. If I'm going into a short term trade right now, let's say I'm going to be taking a partial profit here, probably another partial profit here. And if it decides to go a little higher, another partial profit up top before this skyrocket comes down. Anything that looks like a skyscraper on the chart and you see a nice little antenna on the top, that's usually a good sign. Do you want to check it out because it might be coming right back down. And the fun part that everyone loves is the price prediction long term for BitTorrent. Now if we go, this has already reached top 10. So let's say, because BitTorrent I think did reach the top 10 at some point during this massive push. Let's say for example, it wanted to get into this number seven spot and let's say get to 16 billion. That's a $10 billion market move. So even if this was to let's say four times move, that'll be 24 billion and that'll put it right in this little group. Yeah, I think it can pass these just because of the scalability of the project. I think it's something that can come up in here in terms of market cap, honestly. I'm thinking it can compete with these guys for market cap just because of what it's going to be producing once more people get involved with it. And you're talking about Netflix and all these massive companies getting involved. Who knows? BitTorrent might even potentially be the one that hits 100 billion before the rest of these do. So I'm definitely keeping a close eye on BitTorrent. I think that this one can definitely four times if it wanted to. And if it really wanted to long term with all these projects, it could 10 times. And you're getting massive, massive gains on something that's not even worth one cent right now. And that about wraps this up for us. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode. If you didn't get a chance before, please subscribe to the channel, throw a like on the video or dislike if you didn't like it. If you got any questions, throw some comments in the comments section. And please make sure to check out that VIP patron for $5 a month before price doubles and triples and quadruples on you. Catch you on the next video.